so so let's just get into this man i i, I don't really know what to expect I, i'm i'm quite scared i've got to be honest with you anyways let's get into the the confessions okay chat the only sort of confession i could kind of think up uh or think that i could tell you guys was like lately i've realized when i'm eating like cheetos or like something that's got like um a film that sticks on your hands sometimes you feel like gross like licking your fingers i don't know i will have to go to the bathroom before i can wash my hands and put them together i have to like put the one hand pump soap in it wash it like with one like wash the hand by itself run underwater and then put soap and then i can rub my hands together i don't know if that's weird yeah you do that too you okay cool so, okay that's my only confession i think <laughs> never mind thea via said i'm definitely not normal though well okay uh <laughs> I hit someone's car at a funeral and drove away. Confessing to crimes, bro? This is the people that we're raising in the chat. I hit a car- and, oh, Bro, y'all need to learn how to drive, bro. I hit a car in the employee parking garage area, knocked the bumper off, and drove away because my car was okay. Oh my god, bro. It, <laughs> bro, we got another hit. Yo, 2319. We got another hit and run. Yo, who, who is this? Bro, y'all need to confess for your sins. That is crazy. All right, so we got a story time moment one time when i was around probably seven ish my mom had a walk and shower and i wanted to shower in it so i did and after my shower i was standing there and i thought i had to fart but instead i pooped on the floor in the shower and i was scared it was gonna i was gonna get in trouble so i left it in there you bro, bro left it like it was a choice like and i went back to check if it was still there and it was gone so i think my mom picked up my poop thinking that it was dog poop i've never told anyone that story i mean that's foul foul like i i thought the hit and run was bad i think this might be worse bro that, that's like a that's jail for life minimum I, making your mom your mother pick up your own shit out of the shower and if you've got one of those drains man like oh oh man oh and she's just like full like full fists and grabbing it like with toilet paper or whatever y'all use that's crazy i like whoever you are remain anonymous for your own safety please i'm terrified thank you for submitting that i think one time i stuck my sister's toothbrush in the toilet and it put it back so she would use a stinky toothbrush later because i was mad, mad. <laughs> <laughs> nah bro <laughs> Yo, that this one's crazy, but but also I can't I can't hate too much because I did the same thing to one of my sisters before. She had it coming, so we were getting ready for school, and my sister like was hogging the sink, and she just always had an attitude in the morning, like damn, like you can't be happy you fucking woke up today. And I'm about to brush my teeth, she like elbows me, we go back and forth, and she knocks my toothbrush out of my hand. It goes on the floor by the toilet, and I was like, are you fucking kidding me right now? Disgusting. It doesn't go in the toilet, it goes by the, on the floor, ruins the toothbrush. And she's like, huh, huh, like, like a little like snobby little remark afterwards too, making me go to the whole rest of the day of school without brushing my teeth. It's crazy. So I was like, you know, what? I'm going to get revenge. She leaves the bathroom. I still got to do my hair, do a little dip, maybe a little, maybe, maybe a little wipe, maybe a little. <laughs> All right. Somebody, somebody take me to jail right now. But <laughs> I'm a Scorpio, bro. What can I say? What can I say? All right, it says, can't fall asleep at night until I have a full conversation with myself in the dark. I'm kind of funny for real. I'll be making myself laugh. Bro, <laughs> I don't know if you're funny or that's if you're just delusional. What, like, the melatonin probably just be hidden different with this one. <laughs> like, this reminds me of myself a little bit. But <laughs> I don't even know, like, I don't even know what to say. Uh, it's valid. I, I feel like I don't, that's, I, I want to get in this person's mind and I'll, or maybe just be able to, like, be in the same room. Not in like a weird way, but like just witness what it's like to have a conversation with yourself. Like, what what do you talk about? Like, what are you doing the next day? Or are you like, hey, how are you? Oh, I'm good. What did you do today? I'm curious how this conversation goes. But I relate to the I'm kind of funny. I'd be making myself laugh. That's me every day. All right. For as long as I can remember, I could feel something in my belly button, but I thought it was just some extra skin or something. Within the last month, I was taking a shower and scrubbing my belly button. I felt the extra skin move around. Uh, I stuck my finger in my belly button and I felt the skin come loose. When I pulled it out, it turned out to be some lint. Like I said, I had no idea how long this has been in my belly button, but it was stuck there for at least a year minimum. Bro. <laughs> oh my god bro i don't even know what to say bro i don't even know what to say god that is crazy a year minimum okay th this is submitted 7 13 23 and you said last a month so last month last month you just got and this has been in your oh my god 
take another fucking shower if you want i don't even care if you're watching the stream take another shower just just for security purposes we need to make sure yeah scrub like 20 15 to 20 seconds on each body part minimum okay i mean i'm i'm, I'm happy for you i think uh i'm glad it uh you got that lint out <laughs> yo who i'm yo i don't even want to know what that is anymore actually i'm good i'm good <laughs> I like how I'm like this is so like wholesome. Like, go ahead and spill your guts. This is a judgment free zone, so feel free to say, it. Yo, I'm like hardcore, like, take a shower, you nasty. <laughs> nah, but I don't care. That's that's crazy, bro. That's crazy. That <laughs> one time my neighbor lost her guinea pig, so she asked me to come over and help her look for him. And we couldn't find him for hours. But when we found him, but we found him squished in the couch cushions because someone sat on him. R.I.P. Peanut. Oh my god, bro. Poor guy. Poor Peanut. That's crazy. A guinea pig? A guinea pig? Not even like a little like hamster? A guinea pig? Yo. Can we get a moment of silence? That is awful. Bro, I didn't even... Like, how do you even... Oh my goodness. I'm glad y'all were like... I, I didn't even want to say I'm glad. I was gonna say I'm like glad you guys were able to like find him, but you didn't really find him. I once swallowed a stainless steel ball from a board game and had to go to the hospital to see if I was okay. Not sure why we eaten balls. But uh, I'm I'm assuming you're good now because it, it said submitted seven thirteen twenty three. So I'm, I'm I think we're good now. Interesting. I don't know what to say. Uh, that's scary, bro. I don't even know. If, did you have to like poop? Okay, never mind. Um, next one. I used to hook up with my friend's dad. Uh, friend was adopted, and the dad wasn't that that old. Is crazy, bro. Yo, yo, who? <laughs> nah, you're ruining families out here, bro. So. One time I was dating two guys from the same luxury apartment complex. Whoa. Two guys from the same complex. I met them both on Hinge. I only realized it when I went to hang out with the second one and noticed the address was the same. I was so shook. I dated them for like a month. They didn't know and I still don't. Oh, and still don't. But they literally lived like two doors down. I don't know if this is crazy or not. What the f damn she slash he pulling bro pulling for real what dude that's literally fucking the summer i turned pretty the summer i fucking got an apartment oh my god this is literally this is literally that she said she said jeremiah or conrad for real oh my god that's crazy uh my mom baked a pie for an event when i was younger and i dropped it getting into the car but i said it was my brother who dropped it i haven't told a soul and i still feel horrible you should because i don't know if your brother was younger but your mom probably still thinks about that to this day guarantee it she probably looks at at her son with a little, little a little bit of shame i stalked a boy on social media i saw in a plant nursery and it ended up calling the next day in a granny voice telling the person on the other phone about a young man who helped me out just so i could get his name bro so we got stalkers we got criminals in the chat i i need to like step i need to like take a walk bro this is like definition. This is definition of being down bad. You had to put on a granny voice to what? Like, what, why can't you just be your, your regular voice? Why you gotta alter it? So I could just get his name. There's no shot. You stalked the boy on social media. No way. There's no way. Okay, this is Joe Goldberg for sure. But think if you guys actually hit it off and you got married or something, or you guys are going on a date, right? Five dates in. So like, tell me like, uh, when you first saw me, what did you think of me? Or like, how did... You know, how did you find me or, you know, oh, I stalked you. you, you know, you were watering plants and I just 3 p.m. every day. I just couldn't help myself, but just keep looking at you until I found your social media. Like, bro, you know what I'm saying? Like how romantic, how great to tell your kids that, right? Like, come on, man. Like, why are we getting pulled up to the nursery? Like, oh, like this, uh, this kind, buff, hot, juicy little gentleman, um, you know, he helped me get my plants and I came back next week and he was there again and we just hit it off and it was great, right? It's like. I don't know, man. I don't know. That's crazy. I ate 13 carne asada tacos with bomb avocado salsa. I hope it wasn't the salsa that someone spit in, bro. And six glasses of hibiscus. I don't even know what that is. Agua de Jam Jamaica. If you know, you know. When I was 13 years old. <laughs> I, I'm happy for you, bro. Lit. Yo. <laughs> I don't know what to say. 13 carne asada tacos and you're 13, bro. I mean, you'll go crazy. I'm actually surprised you could eat 13 tacos at 13 years old. I feel like at 13, I was like a little bitty. Uh, one time, I actually took my sister's phone upstairs thinking it was mine. So I just put it in a room instead of bringing it back down. And she still brings up how confused she is that it got up there. I never told her. So you're like, so you're kind of gaslighting, bro. Just tell her. Just be honest. I thought this was going to go somewhere else. I was like, wait, what's going to happen? I thought you were going to like find something or, or what? Or maybe like lie or what? I mean, you could just leave her confused forever. She just thinks that like her phone's haunted or something. Actually, you should keep doing this. You should keep like moving your phone. 
if she puts it on the kitchen counter, she goes to like get a glass of milk or something, move it like to the table, but not every day, just every so often and keep doing that and, and make it like a print. Like even if you don't see her every day, the next time you see her, do it again. The next time you see her, do it again. That'd be funny. That'd be funny. Gaslight gave keep girl boss. That's on period. Next one. I really wanted a cookie on the way home from school, but I had to pee so bad. And while I was standing in line to pay for my cookie, I peed on the floor and ran out like nothing happened. So did you pay for the cookie? One time I went to sit on the mat at school and I fell over and farted. I was, I was so embarrassed. This is probably the same person just tell, they're just airing, they're airing out all their dirty laundry, bro. It was like this one time I, I peed, one time I farted, one, <laughs> one time I kissed a boy in a tunnel. Oh my goodness. Bro, oh my God, bless her soul. There's this girl. So we were in English class and we were taking like a very important test, like the, not, is it SAT, ACT? And I'm sitting like uh, these wooden chairs and this girl, but she ripped one. And it was so hard not to laugh, bro. I felt so bad. But it was like a proper, like, it reverberated the whole room. And I saw the teacher's reaction. Everybody just lost it in the middle of this test, bro. But, like, she just let loose. Okay, we got a, okay, we got a little, uh, little story time here. Oh, okay. This is kind of dumb. I feel like this is very TikTok-esque. Uh, but when I was in elementary school, I had some sticky fingers. From time to time, we would switch desks or we would move classrooms. Now, everyone's desk had the standard books and supplies. But some kids also had cool erasers and pens and pencils and whatnot. It's not that bad. But from time to time, I would indulge in stealing. Stealing things from people's desks. I'd take a, a pull-apart grape eraser and some other cool-looking erasers and a multicolored pen. I think it was a Hello Kitty type pen. Never got caught. I also used to eat grass and uh it was kind of spicy the grass was spicy but i've learned from my ways now and rob the elderly jake joking about the robbing the elderly yeah i indulging in indulgent stealing is quite the phrase right there i don't even know what to say i i like i i pray for you i relate to having like some some sticky fingers i thought you were i thought you had one of those sticky hands that you throw and you were like sticking it on people or something i, I didn't know where this was going one time I was so mad at my parents that I ran away from home on a bike, but it only made it around the block before I went back, bro. I'm pretty sure every type of one in the chat, if you had a moment like this in your life, if you ran away, you got so pissed off, you fucking ran away. There's gotta be so, there's gotta be a few of you guys in here at least. Felt one, one, one. I know some of y'all did that, bro. Bro, I had a little Spider-Man backpack. I was probably in like third, fourth grade. I was super young and we lived on this uh, little street and like you walk out our house, you take a left in front of this person's yard, the neighbor's yard. They were never like in the house. So we walked in front of it. And it was a stop sign right there. Like, and I remember I was mad at my mom. I yelled at her. I was like, I hate you. I packed my little backpack and it was like one outfit and um, a plastic lightsaber. And I made it to that stop sign waiting for the bus. And I realized that no one was going to pick me up. And I started crying. And uh, I realized, you know. Yep. Gotta, <laughs> gotta suck it up. <laughs>